Hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Welcome aboard. So I'm a man of a thousand unfinished projects. So, but I want to get one finished and that's the front gate. So sorry if there's been a series of, uh, the same old, same old with building a gate, but uh, the whole purpose here, if this is your first time, I've got to keep the cattle out of the construction zone. They are curious creatures and they tear everything up. So I'm isolating this paddock. Uh, but I'm not just throwing up a strand of barbed wire. I've had a little barbed wire here, an electric wire. It, it's not adequate. So I'm making a decorative fence out of uh, found materials, salvage materials. That barbed wire came out of the ground. I found it rolled up in the ground. These old fence uh, gate I bought off of Craigslist. These pieces are found pieces at a, a thrift store. But right now, today, all I need to do is put the capstones on, on each one of these posts. So I'm out here to mud and uh, make some uh, mortar. So uh, I'm gonna use uh, this here, which is what I have. It's brown stucco, I'm good with that. Uh, but listen, not all uh, uh, stucco is mortar. <laughs> Or not all mortar is stucco. <laughs> so, you, you you know, you do you. Just because you see me do it uh, doesn't mean you can do it for your application. But in this particular case, it'll be okay. It's exterior, it's cement, it's sand, it's Portland. So uh, away I go. Let me get it mixed up and get one of these done. I shoot for oatmeal cookie dough as a texture. It's about a half gallon per bag. I started out with about a gallon, so a half gallon, so I'm expecting about the whole bag in there. Now this will have a little more time today for me to work because I got a storm on the way. It's only in its 80s, it's not 100. And this is a quick treat. So there's not a lot of additives to this, just sand and Portland cement. Now just little dabs of, of water, just little dabs of water when you get to that point. Less than you expect. Could even get a Dixie cup out to that point. Just go too far then it's too sloppy and it won't stick to your bricks. And then as you use it and it starts drying out, just keep mixing it. Adding maybe a little water, maybe not a little water. All depends on how hot it is in your neck of the wood that day.
Well, that doesn't look too bad. I'll let it sit for a few minutes and then I'll go back in. I don't have the uh, little uh, notching uh, trial to go through and do these things. I don't know where I put that uh, tool, but I should have chased the uh, seams with that. I don't have it. Anyway, this is a farmer build. It looks like a farmer build. I'm happy with it, actually. A little rugged. I'll go back through and scrape that all off. Let me add a little water to this and uh, finish this side here. Maybe I should add some more material. Oh, that is too much water. Got carried away.
The last step I usually do is I broom the seams a little bit. Just trying to make them smooth. You wait a little while to do it. Once you see how I smooth that out, <clears throat> cleans it up. better finish. folk art. That does look good, right? Mm, I think so. Get some landscaping in there. Give it a little time to cure. This one's got a little odd lean to it. I'm just gonna live with it. Go with it. are funny little things and I like them very much. I'll go ahead and turn this pipe. This pipe needs to, uh, I need to be able to pull it out of that mud and adjust it so that it fits. So every now and then I'll walk up here and break that so that I can move it. Looks good though, I think. A little finish, it feels like a finished farmer's stonework. Digging it. See how the brush gets in there and just makes that uh, edge looks so much better all right wonderful good all i gotta do now is clean all this up and uh do some landscaping and this will be done <laughs> 